just heard Dan scream. All I could do was get my axes and I slammed them into the slope and put my head down and thought, this is it, it's going to kill me. I wonder what it's going to be like. I just heard a huge crash of Steve sliding down and smack into the wall just ahead of me. I thought there's no way that anyone can survive that. How are we going to get him off and how do we deal with a body? I woke up at the bottom with a broken leg, a ripped bicep and a smashed shoulder and a massively bruised ego. Steve is lucky to be alive. You don't fall 70 metres and live. Why do I go out there in the first place? Why do I want to go out there again? And is it worth it? How do you quantify the desolation of your loved ones if you die? How do you quantify that? You hear about people dying all the time and you become desensitised to what it really means. To wake up and wrap your head around the fact that the person's never coming back, whereas her stuff is sitting all around the room, it's just it's impossible to understand. The one person who dies, it's one thing, but the people who stay, in some way, you also kill them. It's like a drug, you know? And the more, more we do, we, the more we want. You know, I get a bored occasionally, I think, it's about time I risk my life again, sort of thing, you know? Well, I think in the human psyche, there is this, this need to adventure. What adds to that kind of total experience when you say, oh, by the way, if you make a mistake, you're dead? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough question, though. I mean, the topic of, of this film is such a big one for climbers because there's no easy answer. The psychological aspects of rock climbing are a lot more important than the physical aspects for me. By staring death in the face, it really shows us that, that we're, we're not immortal. And then you can start to live. Falling off that thing was such a pivotal moment in my life. When you see a place where you saw your mortality, it's elemental. Looking at that right now, I'm, I'm scared, and I'm, I want to get out of it. I think mountains can be magnetic, but the polarity can go both ways. I find that people after traumatic experiences in the mountains either go back immediately or they never go back again. To most people, the idea that I nearly lost my life, therefore I'm going to go back and put myself in the same situation sounds just bloody silly. 